she can go to jail. Because if young Miami go to jail, who gonna represent for the thighs? She the young Trina. Hey, hand me those papers over there. Oh my God, that I do. Somebody please say it ain't so. I want to thank y'all for tuning in to Docs Daily. They hit young Miami with those papers. She was at a pool party, living it up, and somebody bought her all the way down. Now the brother that served her with these papers, he getting all different types of negative backlash on social media. But the truth is they wouldn't even have gave him them papers if he had to serve it to somebody like Robert De Niro. He figured since he was giving it to young Miami, since she ain't got no class, he ain't got to have no class. He recorded the whole ordeal, put all the clout on his name. Look at this, y'all. Dog, that's me, sir. Young Miami with this lawsuit, my nigga Charlie C. So I'm about to do it. He proud, man. He did. He, he happy. He made it. He's done something with his life, but what he don't realize is the damage that he done to young black America. People look up to her like she's Whitney Houston. Like how my generation looked up to Aretha Franklin. This new generation look up to young Miami just the same. And by this brother serving her with them papers in public, knowing that she got something to do with Diddy, her life is over. She thought it was going to be a gravy train. She married an old man. He on his way to third base. She thought it was going to be a touchdown home run. And she found herself in a world of trouble. We're going to talk about it. But before we do that, y'all need to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button. Don't forget to show me some love, man. It's going to be a lot of spooky stuff happening with this solar eclipse tomorrow. So. I want to remember y'all like this, but I got a feeling ain't nothing going to be the same after the night, man. I know that sounds grim, but it is what it is. Grace is in the building. What it do, baby? We got a new member, too. R.H.Y. is also blessed forever. Shout out to Nina and all the people watching the video, man. Ken Gold and uh, Morinisi and everybody. So much love for y'all, man. Baby Cakes is also in the building. What do you do, baby? I am Miss Boo Boo is kicking it as well. So much love for y'all. Let's get back into this news. We got to get all up in it. Because this woman is not class personified at all. This is the type that modern men is avoiding like the plague. And I'm going to share with y'all why. Diddy's ex Young Miami denies the claim she was a sex worker for the rapper. I am not a prostitute. Oh That's what she wanted the public to believe, but her lyrics say otherwise. Her lyrics say she'll do anything for the pay, any day and any way. And those are exact lyrics, man. Sean Diddy Combs' ex-girlfriend Young Miami has publicly denied ever being a sex worker after she was named in a bombshell lawsuit against the coming home rapper the city girls member born carisha romika brownlee was one of the three women whom combs 54 allegedly bragged about paying a monthly fee for exchange for sex according to a 30 million dollar lawsuit filed by lil rod the lawsuit also claims that young miami is a transgender of illicit drugs known as pink cocaine for her ex-boyfriend in April 2023. So she was moving the pink coat. And y'all know how they get them drugs into America, right? Oh y'all thought she got a BBL, but that's where she was holding. She not even a mule. They called her a donkey. She load herself up, come to the party all thick, and leave all deflated. She was his drug dealer, his drug mule, well, donkey. And the BBLs and the breasts was all just a front for drugs. They saying them them city boys, honestly. I don't see not one female on the stage. Do you? If you do, 
point the female out to me because I'm looking hard. I don't see a feminine face. They all look overly aggressive. Security needs security. And what woman will get up there and do some shit like this? Let's be real. But that's Negro here nor there. And if it wasn't for these allegations about Diddy, I wouldn't even be speaking about her like that. But with this stuff out there in the news, people are all confused because they all remind you of some men's. Look at this. Young Miami called out by fans over silence during JT's online feud with Glorilla. The reason why she ain't going to say nothing to Glorilla, because the last thing she need is deep ass Glorilla spitting Diddy raps over a 3-6 Mafia beat. That would be the end of her career, and she knows that. She don't want to get Glorilla turned up. In my city, you be sleeping with Diddy. Ugly ass bitch talking about she was pretty. She gonna do a whole album with chicken meat in her teeth and the streets gonna go crazy. That's why she don't wanna, she don't want no smoke with Glorilla, man. Young Miami's fans have taken her to task for staying silent during the feud between her and her fellow city girl JT. Her fans wanna see somebody get shot. And that's what she get for being a part of a ratchet ass culture. They create these personas that they got to live up to that only a fool would try to live up to. And they got to try to do this shit in real time, 24 hours, even when they being served with papers. Look at this show. Bro, my nigga Charlie C actually served Young Miami with this lawsuit. She's supposed to be in this club tonight. Hold on, they had the barbecue pit out back. Wait a minute. Run that on Twitter. I do apologize. Run that back. Because I seen a big old barbecue. Nigga Charlie C actually served Young Miami with this lawsuit. She's supposed to be in this club tonight. Look, look at them people out there, man. Oh my goodness. The struggle is real. She already had fastened it. She ain't doing it nowhere as big as she was doing it when she was with Diddy. Got Dusty's hanging around, a big old barbecue pit. That's her catering, hot dogs and hamburgers. And I get it's a pool party, but how you throw this ratchet ass party and then get served with some papers? That is not a good look, man. Look at this. Young Miami. Yes. Let me get this to you. Oh, it's, it's, it's what is this? What did you just say? So my homeboy Charlie okay. see you've been served. Okay. You know what's heartbreaking? How quiet everybody is at the party. Everybody standing around ear hustling. Oh they got their phones in their pockets. They recording everything she do. When the DJ go to turn the music up, everybody turn their heads like, what the fuck you doing? Like, turn that shit down, man. They listen. Everybody was ear hustling. That is creepy, man. They had a freaking barbecue. And she the only one talking. And she trying to whisper and you could still hear her loud. It's an awkward moment everywhere she go and everything she do, man. Hold on, run. I, why the hell? They, they act like they had a funeral. I need to see this, man. Reg, go ahead and play that one more time. Okay, okay, so I, okay, can I come out? Um, Young Miami, yes. let me get this to you. It's a, it's a deal. He didn't even have to say. He got. He got her attention instantly. It wasn't no. It, people wasn't gawking over her or nothing. People was standing back like you nasty bitch. The young Miami, she said, yes. That's the most attention she got all day. They ain't even acknowledging her at the party. 
Young Miami, yes. She was hoping there was another baller for a freak off, but it wasn't, man. This is beyond crazy. I think it's time for her to clean her image, to change everything about her, man. It's time for a makeover. Instead of the city girls, how about they be the suburban girls? That'd be a better look. Or the country girls. They could do a deal with Beyonce or some shit. What about the Valley Girls? They could move out to L.A. and do a whole album with John Travolta or some shit. They gonna have to figure it out. Because this city girl's madness. Ladies, the gig is up. The gig is up, ladies. I'm trying to let y'all know. Your dreams of of finding a baller. Some older sucker that's just gonna spend all their money on you. It's over. Hold on. I need to see this. This man daughter is out here living disgusting. Look at this y'all. Let me let me get this together. Let me charge this up. Y'all stay tuned. Cuz for you women out there that want to get a, a sugar daddy and you think it's going to be a secret, ain't no more secrets. If he doodoo on you, the public going to know about it. If they peeing on y'all, whatever they doing, whatever freakness they doing, it's going to get exposed. Russell Simmons sends heartfelt message to daughter Okoye, 21, after she kisses Barito Asoff, who is 65 in steaming pictures. Her and her no ass is on the beach right now with a, a man old enough to be her grandfather, and it's not a good look. It's trashy. He's one of her father's colleagues. She calling him baby. And it ain't a good look, man. The money ain't gonna wipe them dirty, nasty stains. She fetishizing about a man her father's age. Young Miami did the. This one, Kamora Lee did the same thing. She following her mother footsteps and she's still a baby. Man, this is so sad. We remember yesterday. They was just little toddlers. And when she was a toddler, that old ass man was 50 some years old oh and no better. She out here with no boot, no, but she ain't got no nothing, oh nothing. Paying her for what? He better off marrying a McDonald's French fry. And he all up on it. And you know what? When his shit hit the fan, she gonna be in the same situation as young Miami, dealing with his old ass issues that she could have easily avoided if she wasn't a rat trying to get all that man cheese. Now we about to get real and we about to get into some deep stuff. I need y'all to stay tuned because this is the part of the video where it gets turned all the way up. Reg, go ahead and play that, bro. Play that. Yeah, play it. Tonight, more accusations against Sean Diddy Combs, and now one of his sons. A new 31-page lawsuit filed on Thursday details a trip in 2022 where the plaintiff alleges she was working as a stewardess aboard a yacht owned by Combs when his son, Christian, drugged and sexually assaulted her. The lawsuit alleges that an audio recording made during the night in question is evidence of the woman denying his advances as he gropes her. The plaintiff's lawyer provided those clips to NBC News. In one recording, a woman believed to be the alleged victim is heard saying, Excuse me, you don't touch my Please legs like that. I'll move my legs the way I want to. <laughs> if I want to do this, then I will. <laughs> you don't touch my legs like that. That's some bullshit. They had Cassie playing in the background. In 2022, who in the hell made that shit up? That was not him on the tape. And that woman sound like she the furthest thing from attractive. That sound like somebody's Nana. With Cassie playing in the background on a Diddy boat after he done broke up with her ass. What sense do that make? 
a bubblegum ass Cassie song playing in the background. Lil Rod just trying to connect all the dots. Hold on, I need to listen to that bullshit one more time. Listen to this. Victim is heard saying. Excuse me, you don't touch my Please legs like that. I'll move my legs the way I want to. <laughs> if I want to do this, then I will. <laughs> you don't touch my legs like that. Soon after, according to the lawsuit, Christian speaks and tries to get her to stay. Who can I talk to? I'm going to say you. Requ I requested you right now. Well, you can take your hand off my ass for the first thing. According to the lawsuit, the alleged victim then left the recording studio and attempted to resume her stewardess duties. But the suit alleges Christian found her again. They was in the recording studio listening to Cassie. That's what y'all want me to believe. You can't be serious. What song was he working on? The Cassie remix? You y'all want us to believe that she was in the studio with this man and he had that Cassie going hard in the background in 2000. That song ain't come out. That shit came out in 2004. Why is they lying? Wait a minute. They playing games. Hold on. Run that back one more time. I do a part. This is sickening. Hold up. Believed to be the alleged victim is heard saying. Excuse me. You don't touch my Please. legs like that. T I'll move my legs the way I want to. <laughs> if I want to do this, then I will. <laughs> you don't touch my legs like that. Soon she sound like she already bent over, y'all. Excuse me, I, I, I want to do it. I, she playing games. It sounds like she was over there butt naked teasing that man. Like, damn, we already here. Why you, why you acting funny, baby? I don't touch my eyes like that. Is that uh, uh. She was tweaking. Is that his problem or hers, man? She make it seem like she ain't never hit the pipe or hit the bottle level in her life. I don't believe none of this. Hold on, Reg. Get that together. And this got everything to do with Young Miami. Stay tuned, y'all. Being a woman believed to be the alleged victim is heard saying. Excuse me, you don't touch my legs like that. I'll move my legs the way I want to. What the hell she mean I move my legs where I want? So was her legs open or no? Oh my I'll move my legs where I want. Where, what, was she standing up? How you gonna move somebody's legs when they standing, when they standing up? Was she laying on her back? She had her legs gapped open, talking about, excuse me, don't touch my legs like that. I mean my legs where I want to. I don't, I grab it from the side. No, missionary is not my thing. Don't touch my leg like that. Negro, please. I'll move my legs where I want. She being stingy with the pooty. And now she got a lawsuit against this man. What type of bullshit is this? If I want to do this, then I will. It's my choice if I am, honey. Oh my I'm not ready yet. You don't touch my leg like that. And I ready. I'll let you know and I ready. Oh don't touch my leg like that. Come on, man. Look at this. Yeah. Excuse me, you don't touch my yeah. legs like that. I'll move my legs the way I want to. Uh, uh. If I want to do this, then I will. <laughs> He's just looking at it like, uh, 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 uh. uh. He over there confused as hell. She already butt booty naked and she she want to act stupid all of a sudden. He was dumbfounded. Look at this. 
He was waiting to say, take that, take that. Look at this, man. Uh, one, two. Uh, if I want to do this, then I will. Do what? Do what? She was already ready to go. She took the clips that she wanted to. She didn't. If she would have played the rest of it, all you would have heard was. Uh, 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 uh. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. She cut out the part that she wanted y'all to hear. What type of shit is that? If I want to do this, then I will. That statement alone just automatically dismissed the whole case. When the judge see this transcript, he ought to just throw the shit out. Like that's it. She was giving up the whopper. Next case. If she was about to give up them cheeks. I know it. It's what it sounds like to me, boss. They gonna throw her ass in jail for even taking the shit to trial. Look at this. You don't touch my legs like that. Soon after, according to the lawsuit, Christian speaks and tries to get her to stay. Who can I talk to? I'm gonna say you, requ I requested you right now. Well, you can take your hand off my for the first thing. You a sex worker, chick. You ain't fooling nobody. That's why you was there for sex work. He trying to get a hold of your pimp to see why you acting like this. Like, man, he want to talk to your supervisor. Like, who can I talk to and let them know that I've requested you right now? It ain't nothing. You came here to work, didn't you? What the? Oh who can I talk to? Like, yo, who is the operator of the phone sex company, man? He like, how in the hell you get on the boat? Like, bitch. Let me speak to your manager because you out of order. He got to call customer service on the bitch. Like, excuse me, I got one of your hoes here. I'm Sean Diddy Combs, son. We is on yacht three, three, four. You, she's assigned here for sex work and she is not something. It's a malfunction. Can y'all reboot her computer because her shit. <laughs> she act like she don't know what time it is. Who can I talk to? I'm going to say I requested you right. We can call DoorDash. The order, it, it came with everything except for the motherfucking sandwich, man. I got the fries, the ketchup. The sandwich is gone. Give me my refund or send me another one, man. Look at this. Well, you can take your hand off my ass for one thing. He must ain't had no paper in his pocket. He tried to get the booty on debit and she wasn't having it. He pulled out two crinkled up $5 bills out his pocket and that's when she started acting funny. What type of shit is this? Look. According to the lawsuit, the alleged victim then left the recording studio and attempted to resume her stewardess duties. But the suit alleges Christian found her again, this time asking her to find him a place to sleep. She claims she showed him to a cinema area, but instead of resting, she alleges in the suit that he became violent and wouldn't let her leave. Oh he groped her, the lawsuit claims, took his clothes off, grabbed her arms, and tried to force her to perform oral sex on him. Hold up, wait a minute. Oh 
You mean to tell me that she took his ass to a quiet place? Somewhere to rest? And she he took she took him to a theater area. Like what he gonna do? Turn the movie on and go to sleep? Or she thought sitting in one of the movie chairs was the most comfortable place to take a nap. She, she took him somewhere where what nobody at. And that's when he thought she was with the shits. He started taking off his clothes. He in there like it's about to go down. Ain't nobody up in there. Why ain't you take him to his damn room? They ain't have no bedrooms on the boat. She escorted him to the movie theater. Like it's about to be a movie, baby. What type of shit? Hold on. This some bullshit. Look at this, y'all. The woman claims she fought him off until someone else walked in. The lawsuit includes photos of a bruised forearm. Allegedly, the victims. As for Christian's famous father, the suit claims he turned what was sold as a wholesome family excursion on his yacht into a hedonistic environment where employees were exposed without their consent to unlawful drug use, sex work, and general chaos. Representatives for Christian and Sean Combs did not respond. Y'all see that bullshit? Y'all see what they doing? They, they filtered out everybody except for Diddy and his son. They took the light skin, they took the light ones out. They buffered them out and just focused on both of their black ass. They don't want Justin. They don't want Quincy. They want his, they want him and his black ass, his Bernie Mac son, man. That's what they want. They want to paint this one out to be the criminal when Quincy and Justin probably 10 times worse. <laughs> Not only are we going to get you, but we're going to get that Diddy 2.0 Bojangle son of yours as well. You have no heirs. Going to get you and that dancing ass King Combs. We won't stop, we can't stop until his ass is done too. Oh my goodness. They got them in the jam. Like father, like son. Ain't that about a bitch? And young Miami, when she opened her legs during concerts, people be leaving like, uh-oh, time to go. Oh my goodness. They acting like that Rona back. They show up to her concerts with the damn mask on. Like, who wanna hit this who wanna hit this hookah? She got a hookah all to her damn self. It diddy somewhere just sitting back smoking weed. This OG knew that the shit was gonna hit the fan, and he needed a whole bunch of young kids that he could throw his shit on. Boosie do it all the time. Boosie not going to jail. When he got some young dumb up that would take the charge. Now young Miami is getting all this heat, man. I don't feel bad for her because the way she made herself out to be. And this wouldn't be the first time she got into some trouble, y'all. Look at this. Now at 530, we're hearing from the very concerned mother of a man who was injured in a highway shooting today. Her son and two others were hit by gunfire from another car. FHP troopers having to shut down I-95 as they attended to those victims. Local test Christina Vasquez is live with more on this. Christina. Yes, and FHP say the shooting victims all expected to be okay, that they were here at the office at the gentleman's club prior to the shooting. And that shooting scene, it's just over the bridge here on the on-ramp of I-95 North. That's less than a mile away. You say you don't know, he was just riding this to his music, and then all of a sudden he hear the gunshots going. Yes, Teresa Harris, stunned to hear someone fired shots at her son, Justin. Justin got shot in the arm. Seen here being treated for a gunshot wound to the arm. 
Florida Highway Patrol says as Justin was driving onto the I-95 entrance ramp at Miami Gardens Drive early this morning, another driver, possibly in a white Chevy sedan, rolled up alongside him. Someone from that car firing several shots, hurting Justin, another man in the car, Get me up here, Jay, let's go home. and Saucy Santana. Hold on, wait, wait the fuck? Hold on. He said, what? That's saucy. He said, get me a band-aid and let's go home. He gangster like that. You mean to tell me he caught a hot one and told them to get him a band-aid so he could take his ass home? Now we know allegedly where young Miami be getting that pink cocaine. She got connections. Like I told y'all, just because he's zesty don't mean that he ain't no gangster. Look at this, man. Charge it up. Y'all need to see this, man. Who y'all think she getting the pink cocaine from? Do y'all think that she getting it from one of her girls or somebody, or you think she getting it from one of them dudes down there in Miami, man. It's a possibility that this chick is getting that work from this man. It Diddy don't want to be in a public relationship with him, so he used her as the middle man just so he can deal with the big man. Do y'all feel me? Cause he out there in them streets. Why they shooting that saucy if he ain't on no gangster shit? Why is they busting shots at him? If he ain't the one with the work. Look at this man. He told them to get me a band-aid so I could go home. I'll run that back. Firing several shots, hurting Justin, another man in the car. Get me a band-aid and let's go home. And saucy Santana. Wearing what appears Ooh. to be a black sports bra, red tights, Ooh. and the performer's signature trim beard and long eyelashes. I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. Like, I'm a celebrity. The music artist was visibly distressed. <laughs> what the hell they was doing at that party? And y'all know. Diddy been in plenty of situations where there were shootings at the club. Oh I'm pretty sure Diddy was in that party and them gangsters ain't like it and saucy. They call him in the act. Oh Next thing you know, they got to set up a different business arrangement. They brought young Miami into the picture just so things would escalate in them zesty streets. Cause why in the hell would he be with young Miami? And she just so happened to be besties with this. Oh man, y'all need to connect these dots with me. Cause it only makes sense. Look at this. At times in tears. But why did, why would they be trying to kill this man? If he wasn't involved into some heavy shit. These people tried to kill me. He out there doing shit. He ain't got no business doing. It was like headquarters. Headquarters. Nigga, we are meeting the streets. Hold on. Y'all need to see this. Because young Miami taking all this heat. When it's really her dude that need to be persecuted for this stuff. Hold up. Um, I need to see this. Wait a minute. Hold on. Get it together, bro. I'm trying to get this together for y'all. Y'all got to stay tuned. This is this going to be crazy. That boy act. Bust out in tears. He got a song called Meet Me in the Streets with the hand pointing to the streets with the nails. I can't believe this shit. 
Hold on. I think this might be it. <laughs> sit here and act like I know I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in America. I got to sit here and just act like I don't fuck with certain shit. I would never like it. Oh, my goodness. My nigga's right now. He would have cried. That's the type of egg you're oh, right yo. now. Headquarters. Nigga, what the fuck is somebody mean you got your headquarters for? That's the problem. See, I think I'm starting to think that maybe this is your aesthetic. You do the fake internet shit, and then you and you sit in a room. My nigga's for egg right now. He would have cried. <laughs> That's the type of egg you're right yo. now. Nigga, we dealing with right now. Pull up to your headquarters. 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 Niggas is in the streets. He told him to meet him in the streets, y'all. He ain't playing. And if Diddy wanted connections with anybody in Young Miami's entourage, after knowing what we know about Diddy right now, what in the hell would make you think that he want anything from Young Miami? Let me share some with y'all real quick. Y'all gotta stay tuned. This is gonna be crazy. Super duper crazy. I get it together. Get that sh together, man. Okay, this is it. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. Um, y'all stay tuned, man. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe. I got something real exclusive for y'all. Y'all gonna love it, man. And um, we gonna get this on. Okay, here we go. This not this, y'all. Amazing. Now we have. I've never gotten the chance to tell you thank you. For those of you who don't know, I was on a show called I Want to Work for Dating in 2008, and I was the first trans person to be on a competition reality show. And it's because of you, and that meant so much to the trans community. I didn't win actually. I was eliminated after six episodes. But honey, we're at the Oscars now, and I, so we're, we. I won. Yeah, you won. I won. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're presenting tonight. Have the time of your life. It is so lovely to see you again. It's great to see y'all and um, thank y'all for meeting my daughter. That's not the first time they met y'all. Diddy is the reason why this man is on the red carpet. Diddy gave him the opportunity. He gave him the alley oop. This man said Diddy did something major for the LBG community by giving him an opportunity, he may have not have won the competition that he was in, but he definitely won thanks to Diddy. Before this man, before anybody knew who he was, before he had a dollar in his pocket, Diddy was the one that was pulling strings. Diddy made it possible for him to be a star. If it wasn't for Diddy, he wouldn't even have a career. He had to pay homage. And y'all think that he wanted young Miami. I'm trying to tell y'all he was using her just to get next to the saucy man. Y'all need to see, man, look, the video already zesty. So my man, what the hell? Oh y'all need to know who y'all dealing with, man. This dude, Diddy. He wasn't even sexually attracted to young Miami. You've never seen the chemistry between them. You couldn't even imagine Diddy putting it down on young Miami. Hold on, y'all. He, uh, weird shit. Let me uh see if I can find this real quick. Where's the shit where she, uh, he went on the show. Hold on. It was called, I want to work for Diddy. Yo, this man was on a show called, I want to work for Diddy. And the shit they had to do doing for the freaking show, man. It was disgusting. This, hold on. Let me pull this up. No, this ain't the one y'all need to see. Matter of fact, we gonna leave the zest alone. Cause if I go into detail about how freaky and zesty 
Diddy really is, man. It's going to be an embarrassment, not only to me, but for the rest of the world. Hold on. How Laverne Cox refused to let P. Diddy exploit her. Now he a victim of Diddy too? Wow. Even the men's, uh, well, shit, Little Rod coming out. So it's like all these dudes is coming out and speaking on how this dude Diddy put him in the game. He said, I was pretty bummed out last week when Laverne was kicked off. Or I want to work for Diddy, the reality show, the mogul searching for a new assistant. So I never knew he had a reality show called I want to work for Diddy. Hold on. Get the fuck out of here. They was doing auditions and he wanted him on the show. What the hell? Oh my goodness. This was on the damn show. What the fuck? Diddy, you dirty, nasty. What the hell? I can't believe this is some weird shit. This nigga Diddy. Oh man. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. I want to work for Diddy too. He had weirdos on his show. Man, oh my this guy is a mess. And his daughter was so embarrassed. Look at her face. His daughter looked like she want to throw up. Like, why, dad? She's like, oh, for real? His daughter can't believe her eyes, man. Look at this. Hold on. Run that. Run, run, run. You look so beautiful. So beautiful. She's a future actress. Her name is Chance Combs. Chance, you tell her. Yes, I'm an aspiring actress, and it's my first time at the a Oscars, so I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. Incredible, incredible. Are any dream um, folks that you want to work with as an as an actress? Uh, probably Zendaya is one of my biggest inspirations, and someone that I really want to work with. In the future. Amazing. In the future. Did Diddy tell her that's the way you talk in them cameras? Because what the hell was that long guy's mom for? Someone I want to work with in the future. Oh my was that really necessary? Diddy got that look on his face like he about to be exposed the more she talk, man. Look at this, y'all. This is crazy. Yes, inspirations and someone that I really want to work with in the future. <laughs> Amazing. Now, we have, I have never gotten the chances now. Why, why did he looking like she retarded? Like, all right, now, don't, don't say nothing about my baby. He got that look on his face like I know she's special, but you ain't got it. You better not look at her like she's special. Like that's my baby you talking about. No. Diddy was giving that look like don't say nothing about nothing. You better shut up. He trying to keep his shit on the low. Look at his face. Look. In the future. How <laughs> Why he look over like? Did y'all see that? Wait a minute. In the future. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm, Amazing. Mm -hmm. Now we have. I have never gotten the chance to tell you thank you. For those of you who don't know, I was on a show called "I Want to Work for Diddy" in 2008, and I was the first trans person be on a competition reality show and it's because of you 
and that meant so much to the trans community. I didn't win, actually. I was eliminated after six episodes, but honey, we're at the Oscars now, and I, I, so we, we, I won. Yeah, you won. I won, so thank you so much. Um, this guy. <sighs> Young Miami was simply a prop for the public to see, man. She was a beard that was bringing him the work. She was the link between him and all of her zesty friends, man. That's what it was all about. That's what it was all about, man. She was just being used because this man was the one I personally think that he used her to get close to this guy. He got people out there trying to kill him in the street. He got snud all over his. Somebody don't skeet it off on his face and the police didn't even see who did it, man. Was visibly distraught. At times in tears. But when Saucy got feisty. Killer Mike, come get your son, bruh. Kill him. I wasn't going to expose this to the world, but his behavior is very Killer Mike-like, man. Look at this. I need to see this. Because this is something we need to talk about. No, charge it up. Charge it up. Too many similarities. Too many similarities, man. Remember when Killer Mike got arrested at the Grammys and he kept talking about, I'm a celebrity, I'm a celebrity, I'm a celebrity. They're saying allegedly that Killer Mike is Saucy Santana, his father, his brother. They could possibly be the same person, man. They got the same beard, the same, they, they look like twins, man. Anyway, look at this. In order to treat a gunshot wound to the arm. A lot of time in the entertainment. That lady said, get that shit off your damn face, man. She said, wipe your face. Wipe that off. That's not off your face. <laughs> She like whatever you we how we trying to tend to you your yo ass sickly, you got STDs all on your face. She was not feeling that. In order to treat a gunshot wound to the arm. A lot of time in the entertainment world, you know people envy someone that's trying to come up to make an honest living. Teresa is glad everyone is okay. Now hoping investigators find the people responsible for a terrifying end to her son's fun evening out with friends. These guys really need to be taken off the street. Zesty mothers crying for their zesty sons. Y'all see that? Her son out there rolling with Saucy Santana and got shot. Y'all think it's sweet, but it really ain't, man. It ain't nothing sweet about that guy and the people he run with. And if he running with Young Miami, they getting it to puff. Whatever she, whatever shipment coming in, they getting it straight to Diddy. Her niggas. Look at this, y'all.
Run it. Why quality control? How did that happen? Give me the whole story with that. Why'd you guys sign to them? Could have signed to any label. Because that was the only way to go, to be honest. But we got introduced to QC by our manager. His name is Stan. He called us one, one day and was like, Coach wanted to meet, meet with us. And we didn't believe it. Yeah, still don't. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, man, that's the only... I swear to you, up until this day, I don't see no mistake. It's, that was the only way to go. Like, it's like, who, who better... This the they, biggest label out. The biggest label. With the big, biggest artists they right now. They don't do, they don't control, I know it's called quality control, but they don't control, they don't control our creativity. Like it's nothing had to change about us. We still could get on a, we could do whatever we want, but they're going to make sure we don't do The regular Degulas United. Plain Janes that made it into the game for some Southern flavor that the world be wanting. They like the bouillon in the pot of stew. They just added flavor to the record label that they signed to, man. But then they turned into freaks. I think that was the whole goal. They turned these girls into freaks. She looked like all she want to do is eat Doritos all day and not clean her room. I'm talking about young Miami. That's a little, it's, she's a, they say she from Alabama. That's a Bama girl and wound it up on Diddy's lap. Anything to be a bad bitch. I can't believe, hold on man. They really turned her out that bad. Look at this. Dumb, of course, but we can still be ourselves. They don't change nothing about you. We got generation after gen you know i just feel like they you see did yeah. she really just say that you could really be yourself and they not gonna change nothing about you when neither one of y'all look nothing like y'all look in this interview when y'all first signed she hold on city girls they changed everything about these two look at this shit they Millie manili these hoes. They got in the game. They turned them into Millie Manili. And ain't nothing about them the same. Look, look at they look. They look botched. They botched them bitches as soon as they got comfortable, man. Hold on. Young is hip, it's fun, like. Everybody is different. Everybody got their own. We got amigos. We got you know y'all. We got little baby. We got street. We got ratchet. We got pop. We got everything you need right there. Like that's what I love about us. Everybody just be their stuff. But we at the end of the day, it can all look like one. Mm. So I just I don't think we could have did no better than this at all. Now, uh, if people aren't familiar with quality control, it's it's like two people that are the face of it behind the scenes. It's Coach K, which you mentioned, mm -hmm. and it's P. Mm -hmm. um, but Coach K was the the person that initially reached out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mentioned uh, well, I mentioned his name, Stan. He was like Coach K wanted to meet with us. And we was like, why would they call him Coach K? Is he a ditty in his own right? Do he groom motherfuckers? This little baby is definitely groomed. It is little baby coach K. So this is the Rick Ross's uncle. I'm trying to tell y'all they all related. If they're in the music industry, a lot of times they have blood ties, man. So this is coach K. They don't groom these rappers. 
You can't tell me Lil Yachty wasn't being groomed, man. Hold on. Boom. Remember this shit? Oh my goodness. When Lil Yachty dressed up like Oprah on some Big Mama's house shit. And Drake was sitting on the couch. They had he had his legs crossed. Talking turkey with Drake. The same dude that did the song with the Migos. This is sick, man. Diddy ain't the only weirdo. This shit weird all the way around in the music industry. She said they let you be yourself and you ain't got to change nothing about yourself. This is stupid. Hold on, y'all. They had this man looking like Chico DeBarge. Oh Chico DeBarge. They make Offset do that shit with his eyes like Prince. He was loving every zesty moment, all of them. They loved every last bit of the zest, man. For the whole damn video. Whose idea was this? To have a soul train line. And get they Michael Jackson on for a little bit. What inside of them made them they just had to do it. Looking for any opportunity to put on the wig. They might as well just come on out with it, man. Playing all that ball and playing all that D. Oh the Migos story got to be the worst one of them all. We're going to come back another time and talk about that. But what is these chicks talking about? Listen at this. Yeah, no. And then Coach K was in Miami for the Hip Hop Awards, the BET Hip Hop Awards. Uh. And we met at this um, studio in Miami called Circle House. No, honestly, I think that's when you found out about us, the Hip Hop Weekend. Because when they came back for Motorsport video. Mm-mm. Because the first time we had went and met Sting, he was like, Coach, what need with us? And then, yeah, they was coming out here for the video. They was going for the video, but he heard about us, like, Hip Hop Weekend. I don't know, but either way it go. Still, that's how you met up with them. So Around the same, that. Yeah, the same Around thing. That. But I know the um, video, I mean, the Hip Hop Awards was gone. Because I remember watching it at your house with you. It came out after, right? No, we was watching it together at your house. What are we talking about? <laughs> Something stupid. Like, when he discovered us. It's dumb. You asked him when he discovered us? <laughs> yeah. No. Like, we don't when know. he heard, when he, because he always said he heard about us when he came down here for, like, the Hip Hop Award weekend. No, that's when he said he wanted to meet with us. No, motorsport video. They don't know what the hell happened. They, they don't know. She don't, they don't know what the fuck happened. Oh, my goodness. How could they not know what in the hell happened unless everything was drug-induced? They must have was on some shit if she can't remember. And if that's the case, they been getting freaked for a long ass time where you don't remember what happened when you got signed or the day that shit all just a blur. Like it was just a pop, you got popped off and came home with a record deal. It's either that or she will know exactly what the hell she don't have a clue what happened how many blackout episodes she been having in her career look at this y'all y'all remember when Glorilla signed her deal with Yo Gotti he had her ass on the damn jet and she came up there with all her ratchet ass friends. Can you imagine if he had his niggas on the plane oh and all them ratchets came up there and they got a briefcase full of money? It would have went this down. The chick she rolled with, 
What you think they'll do for a record deal? What would they do for a Klondike bar? Like, if you got money, then we gonna give you what you want, nigga. Like, it's simple math. You got money, you get head. They all posing for the cum shot, man. Oh my goodness. Type of bush. Why they even hit them with that angle? They all looking up at the camera with their mouths hanging open. Like, ah. This one already pregnant. I guess me and my funky fat ratchet ass friends. Oh what you think they would do for a record deal, man? I'm just saying, but that's Negro here nor there. Okay, let's get back into this. I need to see this. Okay, go ahead, play it, play, play. K Mix. Wait, bring it back. Watching it again, that y'all. What are we talking about? <laughs> Something stupid. Like when he discovered us. It's dumb. You asked him when he discovered us? <laughs> yeah. No. Like we don't when know. he heard when he because he always said he heard about us when he came down here for like the hip hop award weekend. No, that's when he said he wanted to meet with us. No, motorsport video. He came back. Motorsport. Yeah, it was in Miami. I don't know about that. I just know what he always say. Like, that's when he met with us was the BET Hip Hop Awards. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't because the BET Hip Hop Awards was gone. Honestly, it was gone. Like, it was gone. I, that's when he heard about us. Stan and him was probably talking to each other, like, around the Hip Hop Award weekend. That's when Stan mentioned us to him. Okay. We met up with him, like, after that. I like, see. It wasn't, we didn't meet him that weekend at all, because I remember watching it at her house. It wasn't that weekend. I see. It wasn't. But regardless, Coach K. She acting like she need a, 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 a medical dog or something. She acting like she is her caretaker. Like she ain't got it all. She look like she tired. Like she just want to take a break. Like, oh, oh my, my God. Like this bitch is just so damn slow. She probably do all the paperwork. She looked over the contract. She got to do extra shit. Just to make sure they actually had a deal. She late. She don't know when the show going to be, what time, where. She got to stay on her ass. And when she went to jail, they shit just went downhill. She looked tired. Fuck. Like, Lord, why do this girl? She wish she had to deal by herself. Like, I can't do this no more. This gun, she's dumb as rocks. Look at this, man. Then mention us to him. Okay. We met up with him like after that. I like, see. It wasn't. We didn't meet him that weekend at all because I remember watching it at her house. It wasn't that weekend. I see. It wasn't. But regardless, Coach K did reach out, and uh, you guys linked with him. Yeah. And okay, from the initial time you met up with them, how much longer before you actually signed to them? Was it a month span? Was it a couple months? I think it was like almost two. Two months. Like a month or two. It was in December. I know it was December 1st. Now, after you sign this deal, who's the first person you let know? Hey, it's official. We got our first record label situation. We're signed. I don't, really, I don't even know if I called nobody. I think I uploaded it on Instagram. Ah, so you let publicly the world know. Yeah, I just uploaded going it on, on Instagram. How'd you celebrate the signing? Oh my goodness. Do you even remember? Talking to me. Yeah. Oh, I went to Tootsie's <laughs> with my friends. Went to the strip club. Yeah, it's a strip club. Yeah, I went to Tootsie's. Then I got drunk. Then I went to the office. Another strip club. Mm-hmm. And I got so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to sleep. <laughs> so you guys partied it up. Now, um... She a Diddy in her own right. Oh my goodness. 
a ditty in her own fucking right. JT looking like she ain't do none of that. Like she wasn't there. She looking like while she was turning up in the strip club, she was at home reading her Bible. Yup, she went to the club, got drunk. She went to Bible study with her mama and them while young Miami was being a freaking heathen. She got drunk. She went to the strip club drunk, got pissy drunk and went to another strip club the same motherfucking night, stumbling into the strip club. Panties, her skirt over her head, just a straight up ratchet. She got her first deal and was stumbling around the clubs at night, pissy drunk with somebody booty in her face. She's a fucking rock star. A straight up ghetto rock star, man. So when she got around Diddy, that was right up her alley. Like we can tear this motherfucker up together. A match made in hell. Hold on, run, run, run this back. Now she being served with them papers. She been a thought. Now, after knowing all this and seeing all this stuff we discovered, let's take it back to the top. Rage, go ahead, set that up. Look at this, y'all. It's a, it's a bad bitch birthday. Her, her birthday is next week. So shout out to all the bitches too. Birthday is next week. Absolutely. <laughs> Young Miami. Yes. Let me get this to you. Oh, it's, it's a gift. What is this? So my homeboy Charlie C. You've been served. Caught her in the act of doing some old ratchet shit. She's still out there with them hoes. Promoting horror culture. She's trying to take picture with bad bitches and just and got served with them papers. It's over, man. She is not in a favorable position. The rest of her life is shrouded with disgust. She officially a super thought. She the nastiest of them all. If she come back Rapping like Trina, that's the only way it's gonna save her career. Like, I'm the baddest bitch and the nastiest bitch. That's gonna go platinum. Let her come back talking about how nasty and ratchet she is. Women will bow down and kiss her ring, man. She get with the right producers and just make a nasty ass little Kim type tape. The streets gonna bow down. If them beats is hitting, a hot beat can save anything. Let her get with the right producers and talk that nasty shit. She gonna be a bigger legend. Oh man, I can see the legend. Somebody says she can't rhyme. Get her a ghostwriter. And let her shit be hard. If she do that, they gonna have they gonna respect her because she's certified nasty. It ain't no fable, it ain't no myth. She let them dudes pee on her, doo-doo. Oh she even said that she let Diddy doo-doo on her, man. For the money. They talk about it. She she really lived that shit. And that's what it's all about nowadays anyway. Who's the who's the baddest hoe? Or who's a boss chick? That's what the rap game is about now. She could be the queen. It's going to be a competition between her and JT. Who going who going to be more nasty? I think JT is too humble to be real nasty. She too humble to be a super hoe, man. 
And plus she would lose you vert. She all into the devil now. She might just, I don't know, man. Lil Uzi don't, he don't messed her head up. Hold on y'all. I need to see this. He had her rapping about the devil. He said a rap talking about he got her to believe in the devil. Damn, she, she on a whole nother time. Her ass, she gone. He got her believing in the devil. She a witch, she a, a ghoul now. But oh well, we don't need him anyway. Her or Young Miami, in my personal opinion. But one thing for sure is over and it's going down. I gotta finish this. Listen at this show. Then I went to the office, another strip club. Mm -hmm. And I got so drunk. <laughs> and then I went to sleep. <laughs> so you guys partied it up. Now, um, just curious uh, when it comes to um, QC. Uh, I know they they have a lot of Atlanta artists that are signed to them. Uh, was that ever a worry, you guys being the first artists from Florida or even Miami to sign to a label that's pretty much known for ATL Atlanta talent? Bay. Yeah, that was a worry with me. Like I was thinking in my head, like, oh, it, will we fit in? Like, will we fit in with them? Because we from here, we not, you know, weren't as musically talented as them. So that was a worry for me, like, would they accept us, but they do so, mm. yeah. Now, what about uh, the chain? You have the quality control chain, right? Was there an actual chaining day on how you received that? Christmas. Christmas, how was it presented? I think we got this one that was given to me. I don't remember exactly what day we got it, but I know. This and this was like a Christmas gift. I think we had the smaller ones a little before, but it was a Christmas gift. No, um, they actually, um, Damn, so they didn't even go buy their own chains. The label gave them the jewelry as a gift. So they stunting with company jewelry. It's a company chain that they flossing around their necks. That's like having a leash. <clears throat> the company give you a chain and make sure you look fly when y'all do gigs and shows they can't have y'all looking dusty while y'all selling their music so they'll hit you with as many chains as you want in the company's name it's a tax write off it's a prop damn that is so Cold. They waited till Christmas to give it to him to make it seem like it's all love. So you mean to tell me that the Migos jewelry added up to how many Christmases they was with the label? They had a prop that the label provided. That makes sense. It ain't like they out there spending their money to buy themselves some jewelry. The label got them looking icy so they can sell. Ingenious. The label don't threw the bank at the jeweler to sell them records. From the shades to everything you see. The company's money and the money they actually get can afford to pay the rent inside of the houses that the label found for them. Damn. That's how they was doing it at QC. Have your whole chest plate flooded with diamonds for the label. My God. And people out there that spending their hard earned money to go and buy this shit, you a damn fool. If you ain't got no company that this nonsense is going to help promote, man. Wow. 
I'm yo, I'm over here. I'm stuck. They keep them looking sharp. But no dough. They do them just like hoes, man. Look at this. They had your ass walking around like King Joffy Jofer. Two bracelets per arm, a rolly, rings, about 15 chains. It don't even matter. While you doing your, you pregnant with a baby now? What is this? A little baby about to have a little baby. Y'all see that? Don't even get me started on this dude. They groomed his ass as soon as he got in the door, fresh out of jail. They groomed him into a superstar. Them company chains. And I ain't hating on the brother, but damn. All that damn. Ju so when the Migos had to give back they jewels. Y'all hear that? Somebody hit that cash app. I'm about to give you a shout out too. They just dig in the bucket and get the chains out. Just dig in there, get you some chains and go out on the stage. <clears throat> if you're looking for some chains, go to the office. They got, <laughs> they got them shits in there like earplugs. They working on the job. Now, okay, I got a commercial to do. I need to come up there, grab about 15 chains and make sure you put it in the drop box at the end of your shift, man. They show up to work the next day and them chains missing. Oh, they gonna raise hell. Oh they got trackers on them chains and everything. Like you need to bring all your chains in for maintenance. We, we doing the chain cleaning. You got to bring all them shits back for maintenance. Yo ass. You out in public with no jewels for three hours until the cleaning done. What type of mess is this? That's Negro here, no there. Okay, we got to get back into this. Hold on, y'all. Look at this. She flew here to get these, like the watch and the bigger chain. How is it presented? I think we got this one that is here. I don't remember exactly what day we got it, but I know. This and this was like a Christmas gift. I think we had the smaller ones a little before, but it was a Christmas gift. No, um, they actually, um, she flew here to get these, like the watch and the, the bigger chain, but yeah. the smaller ones, coach, UPS them to us. So it was, we knew we were getting them because that's uh, all we was kept calling about. We wanted our chain. When you finally got, it was buff. They was bugging them for their chains. Like, I'm tired of being dusty. When y'all gonna send the chains? All I want is my chains so I could walk around here with my jewelry, please. I want to stunt on the nigga. Where is my chain? Hey, mama, you checked the mail? Did you check? Is that my chain? Is that my chain? You got shit from Amazon coming in. They ripping open the boxes. Oh my God, I need my chain so I can stunt. I got I ain't got no money, but my mama, they about to send my chain. Oh my goodness. Why they ain't get y'all the money? So y'all can go out there and buy y'all own chains. They stressing, wishing, praying on, wishing on the star that them chains come in the mail. When did y'all get a chain? She looked like she still don't know what's going on. She confused. She don't know and she don't care. If you ask her a question, all she gonna do is shrug her shoulders. JT don't drag this chick. Cause she didn't want to get out there and do it by herself. She dragged her along. Young Miami looked like she didn't even want to be a rapper. She just did it because JT wanted to do it. Like, I'm down, whatever. I show up. She all late to the talent show. Don't forgot her lyrics and everything. And can't even answer a, a damn question. And then they gave her a, Diddy gave her a talk show. Hold on, y'all. 
how we go from her not saying a damn thing to having her own podcast and then had, hold on, look, 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 charge it up, charge it up. How did that even happen, man? You go from not being able to answer a simple question to having your own motherfucking podcast. Hold on, y'all. Y'all need to see. Did he have 50 had them bitches on there? Oh, man, y'all need to see this, man. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Run that back. Here we go. Yeah, Is that fun? Time. Yeah, you the funnest. <laughs> <laughs> you the funnest, young Miami. Woo! But then also then you Carisha, and then so, you know. So Carisha is. Carisha, I can get I get advice from Carisha. You know what I'm saying? Carisha tell me like, yo, don't don't be in your head and. You know, you're just a good friend. Everybody that's a friend of yours will tell you like that you're a great friend. Do you consider yourself toxic? Because you call yourself love. So mm -hmm. do you consider yourself toxic? Like, would you say you toxic? Yeah, I would say that it gets toxic. I'm not trying to be toxic. So. But are you toxic? Mm. Yeah. That shit, do you? That, if they use that shit in the court, if they play... If they play that in court, he done just by sitting down, talking to this woman, being in her presence is what got him in this world of ratchetness, man. She is the worst. Hold on, y'all need to see this, man. No, put that in. I need to see it. Yeah, this what we need to see, man. Because they was on this show talking, and this chick started crying. I need hey, to get this part. Hold up. up. Beyonce said my new podcast, Carisha, please. I got my co-host, Sasha Santana, in the morning. Oh, um, JT. Look how they got. See, this the reason why they got rid of him, man. I say it over and over. They got Saucy Santana all on the De Leon. They sitting over here together and got her way over there. They sitting together on Diddy's Revolt production. And her ass sitting way over there. Why do he get the co-host seat on Diddy's production, man? Who invited him to the look how he on the couch? You never seen somebody more comfortable. Did he let that man get on his show, put the bottle of deli on right between his sack and had her sitting over here. Got deli on and the, got, got they liquor all over the place for some ratchet ass city girls. Look at this man. But before we start, bartender, can I get a Carisha, please? This interview is being brought to you by Delion Tequila, owned by a black man. Goes down smooth. Now back to more Carisha. He is on that motherfucking crack. Did I really see what I thought I just seen and heard? He did a he did a soul glow commercial with the Delion. For Saucy Santana, Young Miami, and JT. Owned by a black man. Where? I was owned by a black man and they fired your ass. This is the reason why they tearing him down. This is it. The shit too ratchet. And they don't want their brand to be tainted by his foolishness, man. 
you please. So how are you feeling today? Like, are you excited to be here? Yes, I'm so excited to be here. Like, seriously, because it's like, this really your show. And it's like... Who want that drinking a liquor, man? Wait a minute. Go back. Go back. Who want that? Promoting a liquor. She looked crazy. Do you really want to promote your liquor? So people that carry themselves like this. Oh my goodness. She looked like a I ain't gonna say what she looked like. Just go ahead and play it, man. So a lot of people would be like, that is her, that is her. So I really didn't never want to go outside and then I think like after my six month, it kinda it kinda got easy. And it was just like start feeling like school a little bit because I started getting used to my surroundings but my first six months was like very very hard because I had to get used to not having well I had makeup in there but not the makeup that we have and I had no weave so it was like a big big trend hold up she did wind up going to jail hold on man I'm on the job. I'm on the beat. I need to know what the hell is going on. Look at this, man. City girl star JT released a new song the same day she got out of jail. City girls, uh, JT, my feelings is, is, is how did she end up going to jail? Why did she go to jail? That's what we need to know. Female rapper JT went to jail in 2018 for fraudulent credit card charges. Whoa. On June 30th, she took the Instagram to admit she'd been going to prison after previously being out on bond. Did more than I thought I could imagine in this short period of time out on bond. Now it's time for me to knock this down and come back strong forever. Hold my baby down, y'all. While she was reportedly expected to be released in March 2020 after being uh, after beginning her sentence in June 2018, she was instead released Tuesday, October 8th, in an August interview with 99 Jams or uh, whatever. So she went to jail for some credit card scams, fraudulent credit card charges. Why would she have to do that when she signed to a multi million dollar record label, man? No wonder. Young Miami got involved with Diddy. They was doing them worse than TLC. She went to jail. A rapper with a credit card scam. She wasn't getting no dough. Fans react that City Girls Young Miami post glam prison shot of JT. She's living good in jail. How the hell you gonna be living good in jail? She had to do the time for the crime just to keep money in her pocket. What, what her label got to say about that? And they still ain't giving her a helping hand. She had to get with Lil Uzi. After spending over a year in jail for credit card fraud charges, City Girls JT has been released from prison and will be releasing a new track on her first day out after spending over it she was in there for scamming you bitches could never she captioned she's a damn thief man she got a criminal record she got a criminal freaking record and dumb diddy got her sipping on so rock deli on what is he thinking you got a convicted felon representing a multi-million dollar company, billion dollar, billion dollar company. How in the hell, man? I got to get to the part where she started crying. Because that's all we really want to see. Matter of fact, let me see if I can pull that up real quick. So we can cut through all that shit. Let me see. I think I know what to do. Cut through all that fluff and get right to the part we want to see. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Hold on. 
Look at this. Look, look, look. This is going to be a good part. In here. Y'all stay tuned, man. Yo, thank everybody for watching. I got so much love for y'all. We going to play this clip. Then I'm going to show y'all some love real quick because I got nothing. I mean, nothing but love for y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for watching. That's real. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Let's get it together. Okay. Bring it back. Okay, here we go. Come on. What's up with it? Trick Daddy responds to JT saying down south isn't Dade County. So I can't hardly talk right now because I just left the dentist. But I want to say this. A lot of people down south are a little heated right now, mad at, at JT, whatever. Just chill. Just chill. Well, we have to stop going at each other's necks and throats so, so, so much and so bad. I just want to figure out how could Miramar be Miami when Miramar is across the county line, but you would say Goose and South Miami Heights and Perrine and Homestead and Florida City. He could barely talk. He don't bit his tongue eating booty or something like that. We ain't about to be sitting listening to what Trick Daddy had to say. I'll just let y'all know what he had to say. He said that JT ain't really representing the South how she whack and she's just going on and on about how she trash that's basically what he was saying now i'm looking for the clip where jt bust out crying let me see crying i do apologize y'all where the part where she bust out in tears and said trick daddy hurt her feelings real real bad okay let me see if i get it like this Damn. Hold on. Is this the part? No, that ain't good. Yeah. Hold on. Look at this, y'all. Know what it is? How you feeling? Where you know me from? I don't know. You remember? We went on. Uh, where did we go? We went on a trip. You remember? Where we went? It was like a group of us. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, I know you. That's why I know you from. I know. Where? You remember now? Oh, okay. Damn, look how she looking at her. Like, bitch, where did you go and what did you do? She look concerned. She don't, she don't be remembering nothing, y'all, nothing. She don't remember when she got signed. She went on a trip with this chick and don't even remember where the hell she knew her from. JT looking like, you dirty bitch. They probably went to Dubai or something. Look. Right. <laughs> well, now we're here. <laughs> Girl, that was not what I was trying to talk about. <laughs> Did you know it's the fifth? Do you know it's the fiftieth day of hip hop today? No. Me neither. <laughs> they told me to talk about it. But they gave them bitches some jobs. They don't even know. Oh they don't even know what they there for. They said, don't you know this is the 50th year of hip hop? She said, no. Like, she don't give a damn about no hip hop. Talking about they do it for the culture. And the chick doing the interview. Somebody done bust her down and gave her a freaking job, man. Hold on. Let me get this together real quick. Look, look at this, y'all. Look, 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 look. What it is. How you feeling? Where you know me from? I don't know. You remember? We went on, uh, where did we go? We went on a trip. You remember? Where we went? It was like a group of us. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, I know you. That's why I know you from. I know. Where? You remember now? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, now we're here. <laughs> Girl, that was not what I was trying to talk about. <laughs> did you know it was the fifth? Do you know it's the 50th day of hip hop today? No. Me neither. <laughs> she said the 50th day of hip hop. Oh like hip hop only been around for 50 days. She couldn't even say the 50th year. Them goofy bimbo, but man, they some bimbos. Some straight up bit nympho bimbos drug addicts 
a straight up junkie. Pop any pill that they put on her plate. Hold on, look at this, y'all. Look, look. <laughs> what you saying like that? Because what you fuck me? Yeah, I would. Hey, so who on top? This. Me? Mm. Ah. <laughs> I didn't. They said that in front of a bottle of Delion? Diddy, you stupid motherfucker. Hold on, y'all. Ch man, charge that shit up. What is his problem? The audacity of this man. No, no, I need to find the right one so I can expose him properly. This idiot of a man. Hold on, put this in. Is that it? Look at this man. Did he settle dispute with liquor company Diego over alleged racism? He said a complaint alleging Diego classifies Ciroc and Deleon as black brands that should only be marketed to urban consumers. You damn right. If you got ratchetness like this going on, y'all don't taint it the brand. With some foolishness like that, who else gonna wanna buy it? You fucked it up. Have Taylor Swift on the show. If you want to really sell some liquor, what is he doing? Look, look at this, man. Hold on, run that back. I need to see that one more time. Hold on, play that. I nothing about gay people. I said that I would not want my son to be gay. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. I said, you gonna fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> what you saying like that? Because would you fuck me? Yeah, I would. So who on top? Me? Mm. Ah. <laughs> I Child's play. Children shit. That ain't no grown folk business. He made a fool out of himself. Ain't no way he gonna be able to bounce back. He played himself to the highest level. Look at this, y'all. I'm not, but I'm here, so it is what it is. Don't, don't let me see that. I already want to know. I didn't even know about this until it had already happened. Mm -hmm. It's like... <laughs> I'm still trying to lie here. My man don't like that. Like, who is your man? And I'd be like, hold on. Let me swallow. Come on, man. The, yo, this is the reason. The reason why the Sean Combs brand is tainted with ratchetness. It's not a class. Nothing about his family is classy. You can't sell nothing with them no more. It don't messed up. They sell. Just by having young Miami in his situation, it destroy everything he have. When the people saw her and the stuff that was coming out her mouth and the way she was behaving, what they brand in front of her, that's when they pulled the plug, yo. Now she getting served with them papers as well. And it's over for young Miami, man. Y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. All of my people watching, all of my members, y'all going to have to let me know, man. She the one that sank his ship. The title say Diddy destroyed her, but the truth is she destroyed Diddy, man. Let me give a shout out to my peoples before I get out of here. I'm talking about Sherry Hand, Neil Taylor. Jason, Wild Boy, Mara Arcana, all my members, man. I got to show y'all love first. Lance Hero King, Legend in the Building, Neil Taylor, Deidre Douglas, Dad Dad Math is here as well. 
Captain Obvious done came through and somebody done welcomed a whole bunch of new members, man. Who did that? Somebody uh paid the price so we could have even more members, man. I got to show you some love. Who did that? Bruce Rice done hit us off with 10 new members. Yo, Bruce, I really do appreciate that, brother. Now we got 10 new family members and I'm feeling good about that. Real talk, man. Shout out to Bruce. And for all the people watching, make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Show me some love, man. It's a solar eclipse happening tomorrow. So stay prayed up, man. Ain't no telling what's coming down the pipeline. I don't know how I feel about it. But hey, it's going to happen, man. Okay. Got my phone. I want to give a shout out to the people that hit that cash app before I get up out of here. Y'all greatly appreciate it. I'm talking about Lanisha Thompson. Where you at, baby? That green vegan. Thank you so much for that donation. Beautiful. I really do appreciate that. Grace, how you feeling? Y'all need to stay tuned. We got so much more coming. Thank you so much, Grace. Derek Rochelle. What it do, bro? Thank you for the cash app. Deja. Um, Sharice Amore, both of y'all, y'all the realest. Jay Mungin and Brittany Walker, y'all the realest. Vanjie Cooks, thank you too. April Jarman and Humble Waters. Can't forget about Sugar and Tammy. Yo, I'ma catch y'all on the next video, but before I go, all you beautiful ladies out there, man, that came here and tuned in, if I said anything bad about Young Miami or any female that offended you, I do apologize. I do this for y'all. You know what I'm saying? For all my people that be listening. But for you beautiful ladies out there, I risk my motherfucking life. Uh, 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 risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I